ever wondered how Wrexham would get on with a Hollywood level squad to go along with their Hollywood boardroom? Well, in this simulation on Football Manager 2023, I've moved the 11 best footballers in the world to their squad in the Vanarama National, and we're going to simulate how far they can get. So there we have it. Indeed, I have moved the very best 11 and the best manager in the game who plays a 4-3-3 DM wide. It's Pep Guardiola, uh, just for reference. I moved the very best players in each position in that 11 to the squad. So we've got Virgil van Dijk, Ruben Diaz, Yao Cancelo, Kevin De Bruyne, Thibaut Courtois, uh, Mo Salah, uh, Joshua Kimmich, David Alaba. Uh, we've got Mbappe, Lewandowski, Modric who by the end of this simulation will probably be about 50 years of age. But that is the 11 we've got. You can see them all on the squad list here. So Modric starts the game at 36. How long will he last? And interesting to note, I have kept the starting salary of all of these players. So Mbappe is on 900 grand a week. So we're probably going to bankrupt uh, Wrexham. But we'll see how deep the pockets are of uh, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McAnally. Uh, but Pep's there as well on nearly £400,000 a week. We shall see how the squad gets on and how quickly we bankrupt them. Or they get to the Premier League and win stuff. We will see. We're going to simulate forward for the first full season. We're going to have a look up through the squad again. Uh, and then we'll simulate um, 5 and 10 and maybe even 15 years uh, into the future. So we'll have a look through the squad right now. So in goal, we've got Thibaut Courtois, who was at Real Madrid and will go back to Real Madrid in 2038. Then in defence, we've got Yao Cancelo from Manchester City. Yes, we've got the world's best players. Then we've got David Alaba from Real Madrid. So already looking like, looking at just the wingbacks, two very good defenders. Then in the centre of the park, we've got Virgil van Dijk from Liverpool. Yes, again, very good. You're seeing a pattern here. And he's partnered by Ruben Diaz, also from Manchester City. That's the back four. Then in midfield, uh, we have got Joshua Kimmich at, uh, cen at central defensive midfield. So he comes from Bayern Munich. Then in the middle of the park, just in front of him, we've got Kevin De Bruyne, the third player from Manchester City on this list. And his uh, midfield partner is the old man, Luka Modric, who starts the game at 36-year-old. Uh, and obviously, he's got a future transfer in place in 16 years' time. So he's going to be very old by the time the game finishes. Uh, then on the wings, we've got Mo Salah on the right. And then on the left, we've obviously got Kylian Mbappe. So by the end of this game, he'll be 38. But we shall see how he gets on. And then up front... We've got Robert Lewandowski as well. So Haaland misses out. He's going to just stay at Manchester City. Who cares about him? He's not one of the best players in this 11 who have gone to Wrexham. So we'll start out in the National League, obviously, and they'll dominate. And hopefully they'll just go undefeated for the whole season and win all 46 games. Uh, but we'll simulate a forward a season. We'll see how they get on. This is their best 11. For some reason, O'Connor is in there, but... Who knows? We'll see. That's because they've got Kimmich at right back. Uh, anyway, uh, that is the 11. We're going to simulate forward, as I've said. We'll go forward a season, uh, then 5, then 10, then 15. And we'll see what damage we can do to Wrexham. Okay, a season has been simulated. They're in League 2, so that's good. Let's see how they did in the National League. If we have a look down, uh, if we look through the domestic leagues. Okay, so they've won 46 out of 46 games. That's good. 152 goals, only 9 conceded. I think they were slightly better than their opposition. That is incredible. Um, completely, they've put eight past York, Maidenhead and who knows else across two fixtures. They've gone up. They've gone up by a lot. 47 points clear, I think that is, uh, with my quick mental arithmetic. Uh, w wow. I'm a little bit dumbfounded as to where we even go from here if we look. Uh, so they've dominated the National League. They've just... Utterly ridiculous dominated the National League. Let's have a look at some players and see how they're getting. Obviously, Modric is now 37. He's still going to be playing, obviously, because he's really good. Let's see how many goals people got, for example. So, have a look at Mbappe. Um, if we have a look at him, he got 32 in 39 appearances. An 8.02 average rating. It's not particularly good, let's be fair. He could have got a 9, for all I know. Uh, but, yeah, he's, he's put 32 in. He's pretty much matched his record that he gets in France anyway. Never mind. Slightly better, but, you know. We are in the National League. Uh, Lewandowski will probably have also got 30-plus goals. Yes, he has 33 in 43. Uh, yeah, well, what do you expect? The goals have been shared around nicely, though. Uh, so that suggests that Pep's not got a dominant tactic which favours one person scoring goals. But that's not even a Lewandowski's best goal um, record for a season in recent memory. Uh, Mo Salah's got 35, so I think that's the most. Uh, 35 out of 45. We've skipped into the next season, so we can't see the stats all on one page. Never mind. Uh, we will have a look uh, in more detail. I'm 
pretty sure if we yeah i don't think we can look at any stats because we have ticked over to the new season uh, but there's still some plenty of uh, actual regs and plays in there best 11 might be a good place to go to actually there we go uh, so in all competitions salah and Lewandowski both got 42 goals uh killian mbappe 36 de bruyne 21 uh, no one else in double figures surprisingly but when, I mean, when you've got 100 plus goals from three people, really, it's not that surprising. Uh, but yeah, the, the best 11 is, as you'd expect, with the, the 11 players we selected all in the positions they were selected for. I'm not surprised. Did they win anything else across the season? Obviously, we've seen them dominate the National League. Uh, if we have a look down here, uh, the FA Trophy, I think. There, where is it? Where's the FA? There's, there's the FA Trophy. Okay, so they've won the National League. They've won the FA Trophy. We'll have a look here at the FA Trophy final. Obviously, Wrexham won it. Not massively surprised, let's be fair. Uh, if we go through to last season, we don't want the second round. We want the final. Uh, they smashed Scunthorpe 3-0 at Wembley. Big, big surprise there. Who got the goals in the FA Trophy? Uh, Lewandowski got a brace and De Bruyne made it three before half time, And then uh, Wrexham just went back home by the look of things. Uh, so FA Trophy ticked off the list. Uh, National League ticked off the list. Uh, we'll simulate through and see if they get to the Premier League in five seasons. And we are at the end of season number five. We are in the Premier League. Have they won the Premier League? Who knows? Uh, we will find out in a second. The facilities are still a bit naff, let's be fair. Uh, Pep's still here. No, they haven't won the Premier League, but uh, they've won the National League, won the League Two, won the League One, won the Champions. You'd expect all this and then finish 10th in the Premier League, which we'll get to on that one in a second. It looks like they've won the Papa John's Trophy a few times as well. Uh, let's have a look through at League Two. If we go back, there we go. One, def one defeat and 12 points deducted because of administration. Uh, okay, uh, but still, they were comfortable victory uh, in the league overall. Uh, league One, I'm, I'm just, uh, we're going to look at that administration again here. 12 points and still won the league by a lot. Only lost one game, drawn six. That's impressive that they've won that much with administration points. Did they get administration in the championship as well? Yes, they did. 12 points in the administration in the championship. Still won the league by six. Uh, so there we go. Nine draws, four defeats in the championship. That, that, those wages are coming back to bite them now. Uh, and nine points deducted for being in administration in the Premier League as well. So they've either been in administration every single season or it's a long administration. But they finished. This is nine points deducted. They've been knocked out of Europe. Uh, by the look of things, that are qualified for either the Europa League or the Champions League without that points deduction. Uh, they're still at the race course ground. The facilities are still pretty much where they were. Um, if we have a look at some landmarks, so, yep, they're out of administration. Some guy who was the chairman's withdrawn funding. When did Rob and Ryan leave? Ryan Reynolds left in March 2025 after their third bout of administration, by the look of things. I mean, maybe he's just bankrupt in himself. Anyway... That's what you get for paying Mbappe a million a week. Um, <laughs> they've been into administration so many times. I've lost, I think that's six, seven, seven times into administration, I believe. Uh, they've won everything apart from the Premier League on their way up. What cups have they won? We'll have a look at in a second. But Matt Williams, whoever he is, he's gone. So I don't know what their, their board situation is like. So they've won the championship, won League One, League Two, won the Ch Papa John's Trophy twice in a row, back to back. Uh, before Crystal Palace under 21s have won it and Peterborough as well anyway so if we go back a couple of seasons is that the right one we'll have a look at the final here uh, so they beat MK Dons in 24-25 and Oxford 3-0 in the final the year before so they've won three cup trophies um, and several leagues but they've been they've got more administration than league titles which is always interesting to see. Um, but yeah, 4-1 victory over MK Dons in that uh, FA Trophy final. The squad looks like this. Modric is still ticking on at 41 years of age. Is he still playing? That is what I want to know. His, his polygon is looking a little bit knackered. Uh, but he still played 22 times in the Premier League last season at 41. He's still got life left in those old legs. Uh, his average rating of 6.27 is... A uh, little bit poorer than probably expected. Lewandowski is still ticking on. His polygon looks fine. 37 goal games in the Premier League at 38 years of age. 16 goals. He's fine. Uh, I mean, Mbappe is not the youngest anymore. But we'll see how the um, best 11 has developed. Uh, whether anyone new has popped into it. So that's as you'd expect. Any changes for season number two? Uh, Diaz and Van Dijk switching around. But other than that, no changes whatsoever. Uh, season three, everyone looks in still... 
no one changing in Season 4. Season 5, I believe there was, yes. Yeah. So Giovanni Lo Celso has come into midfield. Unsurprisingly, Modric at 41 is not in their best 11 for the season. Uh, so Lo Celso, where is he coming from? Uh, so he's coming from Newcastle. Uh, looks like he's got a transfer. So is he? he's joining Wrexham. So he, oh, he's on loan. Okay, so he's on loan for this season. Uh, played 30 times to a goal. That's not particularly good performance stats. Uh, but he's coming in. Uh, transfer. The transfer page seems bugged. That's not helpful. Um, never mind that one. What is... Yeah. I've not seen this before. Let me know in the comments if you've had a page bugged like this. Anyway, Love Soso is coming in. Uh, on He's on loan at the moment. We can't look at anything. Brilliant. That's going to be helpful looking at transfers going forward. Never mind. We'll figure out a way to look at that. If we look at records, maybe? Is that going to help? So, trans highest transfer... Okay, so we've bought uh, Ruben Loftus-Cheek for three and a half million. Jordi Mbula from Mallorca for 12 million. Loftus-Cheek is still in the squad here. He's 31 now from Monaco. Uh, and Mbula... He's, yeah, he's still in the squad. He's 28. He's come in and played 17 times in two seasons, which is not fantastic. But when the quality of player around him is as it is, I'm not surprised. Um, if we look at the wage, Mbappe still on over a million per week. Uh, De Bruyne and... Okay, we're just racking up the wage, but it's ridiculous. The next highest earner outside of our 11 is Loftus-Cheek on 58 grand, which is still quite a lot, but the rest of the squad is something ridiculous uh right so that's the first five seasons we're in the premier league can this climb continue or will administration knock them back down the leagues again let's find out okay we're in year 10 and wrexham are in the championship which is not good and pep has gone as well i thought he would still be around but obviously he's gone that either means i set his contract up wrong or he got sacked uh they've moved from uh, Wrexham to the Swansea temporarily for a little bit. Uh, back to the racehorse ground a little bit. They've, they've had FA Cup runners up. That's good. Uh, a couple more administrations. Matt Williams finally left. They've had a new guy come in. They've not won anything new by the look of things. If you look at the Premier League, 10th, 3rd. They got into Europe. Uh, 17th, 10th. That's got to be points deductions. 18th, relegated. 14th in the Championship. The squad is clearly getting too old to still be able to do anything. Two FA Cup finals, though. 28, uh, 2028 and 2029, nothing by the look of it won in Europe. So they got there but didn't win anything. We have a look at the FA Cup. Right, we don't want to see these seasons. We skip back a few years. Uh, lost 4-1 at Wembley to Manchester City. And the season before, lost 1-0 to Man City. So Man City have put Wrexham's hopes of an FA Cup out of the window twice. Uh, if we look in the domestic leagues, as we said, so they finished 10th in their first season. We saw that. Third 17th, 10th, 18th, 14th in the championships. Not particularly good. But that, we're going to have to look at the leagues properly in a second. If we look down. Uh, EFL Cup, have they got anywhere? A couple of quarterfinals. Nothing particularly interesting. FA Cup, those two finals. A couple of quarterfinals and a semi-final. Sorry, not a quarterfinal. But a couple of finals there as well. Champions League, they got to the Champions League semi-finals in the 28-29 season. Lost to Real Madrid. Let's have a look at that one and see their path through. Uh, I need to go back, don't I, to get to an actual season. There we go. Right, if we look, semi-finals, go back to 28-29. Next one, that one. There we go. So they lost 4-1 on aggregate uh, to Real Madrid, who went on to win the Champions League that season. If we go all the way back, um, so they beat, uh, they lost to Real Madrid, beat Newcastle 2-0 on aggregate, beat Man City on penalties, and beat Mainz 5-2 to get into the round of 16. So obviously, it's the new format in the Champions League, which we've got a video about here on the channel as well. Go check that out. Uh, but if we have a look at the squad now, let's see the damage that's been done. Uh, no, we don't want 16-year-old new gens. We want 46-year-old Luka Modric, who is still ticking. Oh, look at that polygon. His stats have just evaporated. But he still played 43 times in the Championship last season. He Apologies for my voice going high, but four times in the Premier League off the bench. 43 appearances in the Championship at 46 years of age. Luka Modric is probably grey by now. He's definitely on his last legs. Somehow he's still doing it, though. Uh, Lewandowski at 43 is still banging in the goals by the look of things. If we have a look at his last season, 14 out of 46. Only got three in the last Premier League season, but he played 36 times at a very old 40 plus never mind right it, in fact mbappe is 33 so that's just that just shows you how old this uh, very expensive Wrexham squad is 
that I don't think they're going to peak and win the Premier League anymore. That that's where I'm. That that the experiment has failed. But we will see how they get on uh, after ten years at Wrexham. He's still. Still getting plenty of goals. Still in the sevens on his average rating, Mbappe, which you can't really grumble about. If you have a look at the best 11, overall, obviously, it's where you'd expect. Uh, but I think that's the last season we looked at by Lo Celso coming in for Modric in the best 11. Uh, no one else new appearing. No. Hum Humland? Hulgemund? Merlin? These are new midfielders. The midfield getting on a bit, clearly. Uh, McNeil has replaced Lewandowski. Then we get a new formation. We get a new manager in. That's just chaos, but most of the players still fit uh, in that formation. Then we go back to the typical 4-3-3. Weaver is now in there. I don't know who that is. Uh, Modric return. Oh, no. This is <laughs> I thought Modric had returned to the best 11 for last season. No, this is the overall best 11. Modric is clearly lacking in the games played at 239. But Salah and Mbappe are 4 7 5. Courtois is on 4 9 6, which is not bad, let's be fair. Pep left. Uh, my, uh, 2020, uh, 2030, sorry, he left with four league wins, four promotions, three cup wins, uh, but nothing better than a championship and a Papa John's, two FA Cup finals. Uh, Philip Koku came in for a season and a half. Oh, no, sorry, half a season he went. Phil, Phil Parkinson returns caretaker manager for a few weeks. Uh, Andre Brettenreiter gone, Jake Wigley, Martin Waghorn, he's now manager, been there for about half a season. Um, he looks very young in his photo, but apparently he's 42 years of age. I don't know where he actually plays at this, but I'm not even going to look. Right, uh, so that is 10 seasons. Let's go another five and see how old Luka Modric can be. Okay, then the final part of this video. 15 years into the future. Uh, Ruben Diaz is still the best player in this side, by the way. That's very interesting to see. Virgil van Dijk at 45 is vice captain. If we have a look, um, they're down in League One. For the new season. They've got relegated finally from the championship. 11th, 14th, 10th uh, and then 23rd. Probably a points deduction in there as well because this side clearly loves administration because they're pay paying 38-year-old Kylian Mbappe a million pound a week just about. Uh, if we have a look, Modric is 51 and very ready to retire. His polygon is going in on itself. His physicals are all ones now because he's that old. Uh, Mbappe at 38 at 900,000 pounds per week. Still looks pretty good, actually. His physicals aren't brilliant anymore. His mentals are gone. But he's still he's still killing Mbappe, just very old. Um, there's plenty of other players who probably won't don't exist anymore. Uh, don't even exist. They're new gens. Uh, but we'll have a look at what's been going on in the competitions. Because for completeness, obviously they won't have won anything because they'd already gone on the downturn uh, five years ago. Domestic league-wise, they were in the championship 14th. That was the last time we saw them. 11th, 14th, 10th, and then 23rd. Uh, and then League One season that's just finished, uh, they're finished 10th. So that's that's a bit poor. Uh, right, if we look at last season's championship, uh, where they went down, a 12-point deduction didn't matter really. They were already going down. Uh, old players have lost it, basically. When you get a 50-year-old Luka Modric on your side, that's kind of a little bit disappointing. Uh, no points deduction on that season. That's quite impressive. Or have they left the their 14th there? I think that's the first season in the championship on this run. Yes, it is. Uh, that is why there's no points deduction, because they've clearly been relegated already. If we go up to the Premier League and look at the last few seasons in the Premier League, um, so if we go back a few here, uh, let's see when they get relegated. Another one, there we go. Relegated, five-point deduction did send them down. They were relegated because of their point deduction for violation of budget rules, so they failed financial fair play. Um, but if we look, did they get that 17th that season? Third that year, so they didn't get a points deduction the year they finished third, which is good. Uh, but they did miss out on Europe the season before because of their points deduction, uh, and that was their first in the Premier League. So, having the best players on the game, as of today, sent them rocketing up the leagues. Let's let's put it that way. But, with the budget that the, the, the facilities have gone... Now, the page is here. The, the transfer page is broken. Sorry. Um... I can't even see what they've been doing. It doesn't matter. Uh, what I was saying was, so the best players in the game right now have sent them rocketing up the leagues, but they're old and expensive, and that has been their downturn. Uh, bank balance is still fine. They've got plenty of debt, but their value is actually quite good. Rich, own, rich owners, fantastic. Uh, the best. We'll have a look at the best 11, actually, before we get into the full wrap-up. But, yeah, uh, I'm surprised. Well, I'm not really surprised, because they've spent so much money every season on Mbappe. Uh, they've spent more than a decade's worth of their budget on Mbappe in a year. 
But that's what you get for killing Mbappe. He's worth it. He got them all the way up to the Premier League. The rest of the, the squad got them to the Premier League. If we quick, if we, we'll flick through as I'm talking here of the best 11s and let me know if you spot anything interesting um, as we're going through Mbappe. Moved to the central striker role there for a season. Um, but yeah, uh, lots, lots of really good players who are very expensive and now very old and they've gone tumbling back down the table. So, in the league. So, there you go. Um, can, were you expecting anything different? I'm not sure I was. When I set out and I made the, the decision to keep the wages the same, I had a feeling that administration and money would come and bite them on the backside. But they got all the way to the top. They very nearly won the Champions League and got to two FA Cup semi-final. Uh, two FA Cup finals, sorry. They got third in the Premier League on one season and then sort of got over the cliff and went down. Uh, but overall, uh, Mbappe's played 685. Kimmich has gone over 700 games for the club, which is fantastic. And, and there we have it. That is Wrexham with the world's best players uh, at the world's most expensive prices in their 11. And they've gone up and come down let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as to whether you think this is worthwhile doing a bit of fun quite an interesting experiment that the best players in the world can go undefeated in the national league that is the, the big key here um and even with massive points deductions still get all the way up to the premier league uh, anyway this has been Wrexham with the world's best players we'll do another video similar to this probably at some point this week we've got another video coming up uh with another experiment later this week i hope you enjoy that uh, there's gonna be more videos popping up when my face disappears please click on them please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.